Good morning, guys. I hope we're all sparkly. To say the body and physiology is complicated is perhaps the understatement of the century. However, its complexity makes our lives very simple. Concentrate on what? Yeah, you guessed it. Stress reduction, good sleep hygiene, good nutrition and exercise. Rinse and repeat. We're physical beings in a what? Yeah, psychological world. But we should be physical beings, so get, get physical. Um, yeah, it's incredibly complicated to make our lives incredibly simple. But we're determined to screw it up. Why? We're idiots. Ah, we deliberately or inadvertently distort our physiology for an outcome. I want to relax. I want to party. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, it has a deleterious effect on both our psychology and physiology because we are not true to ourselves and we need to be true to ourselves. But we don't understand. So we are now learning and continuing to learn. I've been a medical doctor now for over 25 years. I am still learning. It's an evolving process, much like life. But what you do right now is what matters. So what mistakes am I still making or have I made recently? Well, I'll tell you. I've been taking 5-HTP because I wanted to boost my serotonin, the happiness chemical, unwittingly lowering my dopamine. Is that the reason why I do cold water therapy or I started to do cold water therapy? Because that increases dopamine. How fascinating. Did my subconscious brain realise that yes, my dopamine's low, so I need to do something to boost it? Possibly. So why is my dopamine low and my potential serotonin high? Well, 5-HTP converts into serotonin. L-DOPA converts into dopamine. The enzyme that does this is the same for both neurotransmitter stroke hormones. So if you're increasing 5-HTP, that enzyme is going to be converting more 5-HTP to serotonin and there won't be enough to convert L-DOPA to dopamine. So you get a mismatch. And as we spoke of before, serotonin is more of a calming neurotransmitter stroke hormone and will improve sleep. And dopamine is more of a stimulatory hormone neurotransmitter. And that's what we're seeking, desperately seeking dopamine. So paradoxically, I was taking 5-HTP to help sleep and improve my overall mood. But there was discord in here and I wasn't enjoying the things that I normally enjoyed. Well, could that be serotonin? Could that be dopamine? It's a difficult one, isn't it? So we understand that testosterone increases dopamine and estrogen increases serotonin. But it has to be in balance. And what do you need to do to achieve the reward? Yeah, work. I was putting the work in, but not seeing the reward. So I've no longer taken 5-HTP. And guess what? I feel better. So what was I doing? I was overcomplicating something that is very simple because what did I need to do? Yeah, concentrate on the fundamentals. So much like medicine, testosterone deficiency. What are you going to do to correct that? Well, lifestyle, diet, exercise, and then utilize medication if necessary. Less is more. So we often talk about the minimum effective dose because we don't want the maximum effective dose because it's effective anyway. And an increase in a hormone is going to do what? Yeah, cause harm. It's going to raise your blood pressure. It's going to raise your hematocrit, it's going to cause lipid dysregulation, and it's going to make you a bit of a plonker. And we don't want that. 
So we want the minimum effective dose to achieve the desired outcome. And that's obviously reversal of your negative symptoms. But as we said before, numerous times, ad nauseum, that's normalization of your physiology. So you can do what? Yep, you guessed it. Go earn your reward. So the average dose at TMHC of testosterone, cypionate and HCG is between five milligrams, yeah, five milligrams of testosterone and 25 milligrams of testosterone and 100 IU of HCG. Now, how can somebody be optimized with a dose of five milligrams with 30% of that being the ester? Well, because they're relying rightly on the HCG. Now, HCG mimics luteinizing hormone. So here at the Men's Health Clinic, we like the idea of TRT not to be crude. We like it to be HRT, hormone replacement therapy. As we know, testosterone monotherapy will suppress LH and FSH released from the testicles. We have over 50 successful conceptions using testosterone and HCG. And sometimes in people who are previously infertile, so whilst I wouldn't call this a fertility treatment, I would call normalization of your physiology a fertility treatment. So that's normal physiology, being able to be fertile. How incredible is that? Over 50 successful conceptions. So when we talk about TRT side effects, I often, in, I often forget infertility because it's not typically a problem. Now, obviously, if you've got another pathology causing infertility, that pathology is still there. But if your infertility was as a result of low LH and we give you HCG, boom, normalization. So minimum effective dose. So some guys do need quite a high dose, 25 milligrams of testosterone. Now we've no, the average man produces between six and 10 milligrams of testosterone daily. So how on earth does somebody need 25 milligrams of test sip and 100 IU of HCG for normal levels? And again, we're talking normal levels, not high levels, normal levels for their physiology. Well, their physiology is often distorted because lots of these guys that need big doses are big guys. So they're not normal guys. So normal stature, normal physique. So lots of these guys have obviously bound in gear and their testosterone is deficient as a result of suppression of the HPG axis and the fact it really can't keep up with this oversized physique that they want to maintain. Does that mean they should shrink? Well, if you want to be healthy, you want to have a healthy body and you want to have a physique that's appropriate to your physiology and especially your heart. Your cardiovascular system is incredibly important. So these big monsters that need 25 milligrams of test sip and 100 IU of HCG, we still drill home functionality because we want longevity. We want you guys to be happy, healthy and horny for as long as possible. Ah, train hard, but rest well. And don't put strain on your cardiovascular system because it won't thank you in the long run. We can normalize your testosterone levels, but there is a deleterious outcome from stressing your physiology repeatedly. So as my mum says, be kind to yourself. You can only be good to other people if you're good to yourself. Starts from within. Interesting, isn't it? So that's why we utilize testosterone, cypionate and HCG. And as you guys know, we subscribe to microdosing, a daily injection to mimic natural physiology. So when I hear about people using stupid compounds like transcrotal testosterone cream and needing 150 milligrams twice a day to achieve normal levels, kind of doesn't really add up 300 milligrams a day to achieve normal levels when we can achieve it with 100 IU of HCG and 25 milligrams of test sip 
in the big guys. Now, does your dose matter? Yes and no. I want the best. I demand the best in everything that I do. So I want my dose or my treatment modality to be effective and efficient. So 300 milligrams, whilst it's applied to the scrotum to increase DHT to achieve normal levels, doesn't appear very efficient to me. Does it to you? Now, these guys that are banging in 300 milligrams of testosterone cypionate a week, even if it's divided into daily doses, and they're only achieving normal levels, they perhaps need to realise that either something is wrong with your genetics or physiology that you need to speak to somebody about, or your levels are too high for normal physiology. You might feel good, but there is dysregulation in your physiology and your psychology because nobody needs 300 milligrams of testosterone cypionate a week. Perhaps ex Mr. Universe. No, not even him. Actually, nowhere near. So, hmm. The premise behind TRT is normalization of your physiology using the minimum effective dose for normal physiology, for long term physical and psychological well being to allow you to do what? One last time, not one last time, I say it every time. Earn your reward.